All right, guys, so today we have a review of the Vermeer Navigator D33 by 44 directional drill in 150 scale produced by DCP and was distributed by Joel. Um, this is a nice 150 scale model. Um, they're a little hard to come by now since they are not uh, readily available. Um, I've seen these go for 90 bucks. Um, I've seen them go over 70. I got mine for 40. Um, and I feel like that was a great deal. I'm sure when they first came out, they were a lot cheaper than that. But I feel $40, it was worth it. Because um, not everyone has this model. And uh, it's, it's a model I've been looking at for a while. So without further ado, let's get straight into the review. Um, so as you can see here, you have a nice Vermeer decal right here. Uh, and then you got some nice decals right here. And you got your D33 by 44 decal right there. You have a nice navigator detail decal right there. Um, some of the details on the tracks are modeled very nicely as you can see you have a roller and an idler or a sprocket and an idler uh, you have some rollers right here they do not move they are part of the undercarriage um, coming to the uh, operator's compartment um, this is a plastic piece uh, but as you can see the paint match is almost exactly spot on uh, and the one cool feature about this is it does turn um, which is nice it only turns to the front and to the side for transport on the box it shows that it would turn to the rear I'm not sure if it would do that in real life or not um, but as you can see right here you have a nice Vermeer decal and then a tiny print it looks like it says navigator and then you got the nice red uh, not red black white and green uh, it's like a stripe um, and then the cab or not the cab the operator's compartment it has a black seat uh, and then there is some brown, um, like, simulated cushing materials that I'm guessing. And then you have a fairly basic operator control. Um, and then it looks like you do have some dials or something behind here. I'm not 100% sure what those are. I'm not too familiar with these machines. Uh, you do have some nice um, decals where some engine uh, vents would be. You have another one. Uh, you have a pretty large one, actually. Um, right there as you can see um, here's the other side of the model this is where all your um, your drill I'm not really quite sure what they call it your drill I'm guessing what uh, extensions would be uh, and then here is the drilling part itself this is where your extension would plug into uh, and it would turn it into everything back here like I said I'm not too familiar with this so I'm sorry if I'm not getting all the terminology right uh, and then as you can see the back, you have a nice plastic piece uh, for an engine cover. Um, and let's get some of the functionality of this model. Um, so it does raise up for when you're walking the machine off a trailer or if you're walking it to a um, where you're going to be drilling. Uh, and then the front, uh, these uh, would screw into the ground for some stab to be more stable. And they do move up as well. There are some stabilizers in the back. As you can see right here and right here, but they do not move. Uh, and then the main function of this, of the model, is the drilling mechanism itself moves. So it can get a nice range of motion. It does run out of track, so it will not go all the way, which I don't think the real machine would go all the way. Uh, or actually it might. Um, and then it just slides back. Mine's a little jerky. Uh, and then the... Um, the tracks do roll. They are rubber tracks. Uh, they're a little tight and a little kind of hard to roll. Um, but overall, it's just it's a nice model to own. It's very nice. Nicely made. DCP did a great job producing it. I do believe they produced several versions of these. Uh, you could get one with a uh, one of their DCP trucks and trailer. You could get one that came out as a semi-load. Uh, I believe it came with a trencher as well, or you could just get the model itself. Uh, that's all I got was the model itself. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice, simple uh, model to own. Uh, like I said, I would not pay anything over $40, $45 for it. Because, um, you know, $70, $80, I, I really don't feel like it's worth $70 or $80. But that is up to you. It depends on how bad you would like them and if you can find one. Uh, but that's just about it for this review, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Uh, links in the description. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.